Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for the second half of April. This is your love reading for the second half of April 2019. Uh, this month I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon and you will catch me live. But Cancer, well, let's see what we have for you here. All right, so you start off with the Four of Swords and the Six of Wands. I feel like some of you could be getting a lot of attention. You end with the Empress as well. Uh, the Empress is definitely a very good card for love, but uh, a very good card for getting attention and standing out in some way. So I feel like you could be getting a lot of attention and love um, if you want it. Four Swords says you have to get off your butt to get this attention. Four Swords is a card of like recovery. Um, it, you know, so some of you maybe need a break from love in the first place, which is fine. If that's the case, then you know I would say take a break, but. For others, this could just say that you are, um, you know, kind of in hermit mode almost is what's popping into my head. And Six of Wands is a card of needing to get attention. Six of Wands, as I always say, Six of Wands is my card of, like, going to war and then returning from war. Um, you know, even if you look at most Six of Wands, you know, it's a guy on the horse with the Six of Wands. And, like, they're returning. There's always, like, people around them uh, celebrating and things like that. So it can represent having been through a very difficult relationship in the past or having been really hurt in the past. But this says, you know, it, but if you want love. It's like now time to take the risk again, to take the risk of being potentially hurt again. So this card wants you to kind of like take the risk is what I'm getting there. Uh, next should be Seven of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you could be just trying to, this, this card has come up for almost every single sign, um, which is pretty weird. So a lot of people could be just trying to figure out what their priorities are in life. And it's like, so you could just be single, right? Some of you could just be deciding to be single, or maybe you just want to work on yourself here, um, which, you know, came up for Pisces. It came up for, like, Virgo as well, I think. So a lot of you could just be making that choice to focus on yourself, not really worry about, like, love or anything like that, which is, like I said, which is fine. For others, this says if you want love, you are going to have to like focus on exactly what you want. And again, this came up for almost everybody, this message. So I would get very, very clear about what you want, even to the point of like, you know, what does the person look like? You know, what do they do? All that other stuff. I feel like clarity is going to be your answer. For others, I feel like you could feel that something is missing. Nine of Pentacles could be your finances. So it's like maybe financially you are having a hard time or maybe financially, maybe your finances are like preventing you from being able to date or maybe your finance, you feel like your finances are kind of holding you back in some way. So some of you could be trying to fix your finances so you can be at a place where you, you feel more secure is what I'd say here. But um, yeah, ultimately really good card. So I feel like there could be more money coming in, which could allow you to date. Uh, next you have the Nine of Cups and the King of Wands. Yeah, uh, a wish. I feel like some of you could be getting a wish in love. For some of you, there could be a fire sign coming in for you this month. Pretty much, uh, you're like the only sign so far that actually has love showing up in their reading. So I do feel like there is a lot of love potential for you. Everybody else was, you know... A all the other readings that I've done so far have been about, like, fo again, focusing on yourself, making yourself better, and all this other stuff. But you actually have love potential here. It could be a fire sign. It could also just be somebody who's, like, very entrepreneurial, somebody who's very growth-oriented, and somebody who's very confident as well. So a lot of you could have that person coming into your life. They might not be a fire sign. They could be any sign, really. But I feel like this person would be a wish for you. For some of you, I feel like this is a brand new person. So I don't even think you know this person yet. I feel like you could be meeting them through friends or, uh, yeah, mostly through friends is what I'd say here looking at these cards. Um, it could also be like social media or something along those lines, like some online type of thing here where you meet this person. But I definitely feel like this person stands out. I feel like they, like, glow. Like, I feel like you see them right away. So... This could be a significant relationship coming into your life. For others, I feel like this is you needing to become more confident. So I feel like you need to be more confident, more vibrant, and I feel like you need to try to stand out in some way so that you can attract love into your life. Uh, Nine of Cups, like I said, is a card of fulfillment. It's a card of wishes, but it's also a card of fulfillment. So it does say like a relationship could fill you up, could make you feel more whole in life. And so a lot of you could be trying to attract like that type of relationship in. For others, I feel like you're dealing with a long distance is popping into my head. Yeah, two nines. I feel like you could be dealing with a long distance relationship. Uh, and what I would say here with this card, this card is about needing to ground the relationship and not just live in the fantasy. So again, if you're in a long distance relationship, I feel like there needs to be some commitments or there needs to be a plan of how you are going to get closer together or what, whatever it is that you're going to do. So I feel like, like this is two people who need to come together. So there needs to be some work put in, I'd say, if you're in a long distance type of relationship. Uh, next, your challenge is the hold on one second, Cancer. 
So your challenge was the Ace of Cups, which flew away, and the Knight of Wands clarifying as well. So some of you could be attracting a lot of love into your life, but they could all be like players. They could be, you know, a player type energy, or it could be just a lack of commitment. It's like maybe you're attracting a lot of people into your life, or maybe you're going on a lot of dates, but these people don't want to commit. So that could be part of the challenge as well. For others, your emotions could be all over the place with this card. So this card says that, you know, you need to try to stabilize your emotions in some way to attract love into your life or you could just like you know there could be times where you feel like going out and there are times that you don't so a lot of you could just be dealing with that type of energy as well uh, the fact that you could be getting a lot of attention this month like i said with that empress there could be a challenge it's like maybe you have too many choices in love or maybe you have too many people to pick from and so that could be part of the challenge as well for others this could just say that maybe you are working on a passion project or maybe you're trying to start a business or something so this could kind of say like your passions or the things that you are passionate about in life maybe those things are changing or maybe your passions are growing and that could be preventing you from attracting love in your life or not really attract maybe you're not really having a hard time attracting love but maybe you are having a hard time, uh, you know, finding the time to date or something like that. For others, this could represent a friend who's interested in you, but maybe you are not interested in them, or it could be the other way around as well. Maybe you're interested in a friend, and maybe they're not interested in you, so that could be causing some problems as well with these two cards. Um, what I would also say is I do feel like, for some of you, I feel like you are interested in somebody. I feel like they are interested in you. I don't really think they're a player. I just feel like they want they just don't want a commitment right now. And so that could be part of the challenge, the Nine of Pentacles. So, yeah, I feel like some of you could be dealing with somebody, you know, especially if you know this person through work or especially if they are a friend or somebody that, you know, you consider a friend. Uh, I just feel like they're just not willing to commit at this time. And so that could be part of the problem. Uh, your solution is the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, your solution would be to date, basically, to walk away. Um, the Eight of Cups says you need to go find fulfillment somewhere else. I would, you know, people always ask me, like, should I wait for so-and-so? I always say no, because it's like we shouldn't wait for anybody. If they are meant to be in our lives, you know, it's my belief that they will come into our lives when the time is right or... You know, if they are meant to be in our lives, they will be in our lives, plain and simple. So, you know, I just say, don't wait. It's like, if you're, if you're thinking about waiting for somebody, number one, don't. Number two, date and, and meet other people. If you happen to be single and when, if they happen to be ready at a point in the future where the two of you could be together and you're single, then perfect. Then, then you get together. But I definitely wouldn't say wait. Uh, you know, the, the, the wait is never worth it usually is what I'd say here. For others, I feel like, I, but I, what I would say here is I feel like you are being more honest with yourself with this Queen of Swords. I feel like you're being more logical and I think you are looking at things in the right way as far as love is concerned. So I feel like some of you are seeing a past situation in love at like you're seeing um I don't want to say you're seeing the truth, but that's kind of what I'm feeling. I feel like you're seeing it for what it truly is. It's like you're seeing a past relationship for what it was, and you're like, you know what? I need to walk away from that. I need to get fulfillment, which you have here. You know, I need to get fulfillment somewhere else. So I feel like some of you are moving more towards a relationship with more fulfillment, more happiness, or just, just a better relationship in general. So I like this as well. For others, I, I put this card down, and I got friend. Uh, so I don't know. I feel like I, I get a lot about friends here for you. Cancer, for some of you, I feel like you need to go hang out with friends to attract love. So I feel like socializing would be a good option for you. For others, I feel like a friend could be telling you that another friend is like interested in you. So it's almost like, I feel like if you want love this month, you need to spend time with friends because I feel like it could either come from a friend or through a friend is what I'd say here with this card. And uh, finally, you have the Empress. So I feel like you're very attractive at this time. Yeah, look at <laughs> just like what you had here. This is it like, what did I say? I said you were in hermit mode with the uh, four swords there. So I feel like you need to get out. I feel like you need to get out in public to attract love into your life. This says you're in hermit mode. This is a card of accepting attention. So in a lot of ways, I feel like you need to accept attention to be able to find love in the first place. It's like you have to make yourself vulnerable here with the Empress to be able to find somebody to have a relationship with. This says you could be getting a ton of attention. There's an abundance of attention for you here, but you need to like kind of get out there and meet somebody new. Um, I, so I feel like there's a ton of dating opportunities for you, but it's like you could be stuck in hermit mode here. So I'd say get out there. For others, I feel like this could be somebody coming into your life. So I feel like there could be just like a very abundant, beautiful person. Again, this is part of the entrepreneur. So it would, it would make perfect sense that there could be somebody who's very abundant, who has an abundance mentality coming into your life. I feel like this would be a very good person as well coming in for you. I feel like this person has no problems. I almost feel like saying that's a challenge for you. Like I feel like this person is very drama free. So, you know, if you are one of those people who needs drama, then this person, you know, might not be the right person for you. But, but I would also say, you know, think about that. Like, why do you need drama, right? Really? You know, is it worth it? No. 
Um, for others, what else do I feel here for you? I feel work. I would say be careful of getting pregnant this month as well. Ace of Cups, this card, Nine of Cups, uh, Queen of Swords, the mother. So, yeah, I'd be very careful of getting pregnant this month. King of Wands, Knight of Wands, very sexual energy here. So, I'd be very careful of that. But other than that, Cancer, it uh, looks like a really good month for you. So, thank you for watching and enjoy your month.